Uh, well, we are going to go on with IELTS speaking part two, and your topic is describe a drawing or painting that you like. So, please, you can start. Last January, I was in Bahawalpur, uh, uh, so I planned to visit Noor Mahal. I went to Noor Mahal. Uh, there, I uh, went uh, into uh, in Noor Mahal. There, I saw a painting of uh, Nawab Sadiq Shah. So I, uh, I uh, uh, there was uh, th there was some kind of description written uh, under the painting. I read the description. I so I came to know about the reading who who made the reading. Uh, he was his uh, personal painter who uh, made the painting. It was a very sp uh, spectacular painting, uh, and. Uh, I uh, I like I like the painting very much as it uh, it uh, it looks very charming. The uh, Nawab Sadiq Shah uh, in the uh, painting was looking very good. His hat uh, he 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 was uh, he was wearing uh, a red uh, red cap which was looking very good. I also like the uh, coat he was wearing, uh, and uh, it uh, I like it very much because uh, the personality of Nawab Sadiq Shah was uh, very pleasant in the uh, in the picture. So I like the painting very much. All right. This repetition, I like the painting. I like the painting. This painting fascinated me a lot. I really admire his work. It was stunning. This is what examiner wants to check. Yeah? I love you very much as everyone knows. But if you say I'm so passionate, it is something the extra thing. Okay? So try to use variety of words. Then it'll, it's going to be better. But overall, it's good. Right? You can easily convince the examiner. You appear in IELTS before? First time? Okay, that's great. All right, so let's go on. And by the way, after this, we will have another activity. Uh, let me finish all the cue cards, then we will have another speaking activity, okay? Uh, so that's why I stay here, don't go. <clears throat> describe a place of good, uh, describe a piece of good advice that you gave to someone. Well, um, I am a kindly person. And I would like to uh, some uh, advice. Speak in the mic, please. Yeah. Well, I'm a kindly person, and I, I would like to uh, give some advice and to help uh, people. And last year, I advised to my colleague uh, because uh, he um, lose um, his brother, and uh, he he faced, lost his brother. He lost his brother, and uh, he faced uh, with a lot of uh, problem, and uh, he 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 had also. Um, uh, some uh, some of her depressions, and uh, I then I give some uh, advice and uh, uh, some sharing some uh, motivational spe uh, speech, and after that uh, he follow my um, advice and uh, and keep my keep up my uh, uh, speech and uh, all right highly hope yaga. Mr. Khube, English is from Khaili Khube. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Overall, it's better. You spoke for 58 seconds. So again, I'm telling you, come out of this hesitation. Just try to speak, express yourself, and you'll be fine. Be more confident. Practice all the topics, five topics every day. And when you practice the topics, record. You need to record and take a look at the timer. When you record, you know, there is the timer. So you can see, okay, one minute, one minute, 10 seconds, like this you need. And then listen to what you have recorded and laugh. See, it's me speaking English and all that. So you'll be fine, inshallah, right? Good job. Because of you, I was looking for my Persian language book. So I will just repeat my Persian and then I'll speak more Persian with you. When I was a student, I had a book, Amuzish Zabone Farsi. And I learned it from this culture center of Iran. Four levels I did there. So I had a book. Hale shuma che to rast. Man khub hastam. Isme shuma chiye. Isme man asade. Farsi. So this is good, yeah? All right. Now we go on and we've got topic number 42. My friend Yasin speaks very good Chinese. He's an expert in speaking Chinese. But his Chinese is not understood by Chinese people. <laughs> okay? He himself understands that. Other people do not understand. Anyways, describe a rule that is important in your school. Firstly, 
रूल्स एंड लॉ मेड पीसफुल एंड हारमोनियस एंड सोसाइटी एंड इफ वी ऑल ओबे द रूल्स ऑफ रेगुलेशन देन वी देन वी वुड ऑल बी बेनिफिटेड एंड स्कूल वार द फर्स्ट प्लेस वी आर द चिल्ड्रन वार सीक सम डिसिप्लिन एंड कोर्स ऑफ कंटेक्ट एंड इन माई स्कूल माई प्रिंसिपल वार वेस वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट एंड इन माई स्कूल आई हैव टू यूनिफाम एंड नो मंडे मंडे ट्यूजडे वेनसडे आई हैव वेरिंग स्काई शर्ट एंड ब्लैक पेंट्स एंड आई यूज टू वेयर एंड नेक्स्ट वीक आई हैव वेयरिंग थर्सडे फ्राइडे सैटरडे fully white uniform and uh, they are represents uh, our school's uniform and uh, if any person was not wearing the uniform regularly and in my uh, my principals were and uh, standing outside uh, in one legs after after uh, 50 to 1 hours one hour no right. 30 minutes okay 30 minutes 30 minutes okay and uh, if any per, any per person they were not wearing belt shirt tie and they have charged some fine uh, about uh, 15 100 rupees and uh, so this was the rules in in school we uh, all had follow okay we all had to follow 1 minute 28 seconds overall good but there are multiple grammatical errors so i would advise you to brush up your sentence structure uh, for that there is a video english grammar in 45 minutes you need to go through that okay helping verbs and tenses that's what you need to improve otherwise it's good 